7.2.3 is quite a tricky one but uh, let's start with 7.1 and see uh, what happens right so i'm just gonna let you do 7.1.1 because uh, that's just a definition right and then 7.1.2 says that uh, let's give a reason why ethanoic acid is classified as a weak acid uh, we classify it as a weak acid uh, because it ionizes incompletely, right? It ionizes incompletely. Uh, that's why we classify it as a weak acid. And 7.1.3, uh, write down the formula of the two bases in the equation above, right? So let's, you know, do it the conjugate acid base per style, right? Uh, we know that uh, CH3COH is an acid, right? So, um, that will be the conjugate base there so we're saying that uh, this is the acid and this is the conjugate base so if that is the acid then uh, this is the base right and then this will be the conjugate uh, acid so to say so we're looking for the formula of two bases right so we have h2o and ch3coo minus right yeah and then uh, 7.2 7.2.1 a flask contains uh, 300 centimeter cube of a dilute sodium hydroxide in aoh of concentration 0 0.167 mole per decimeter cube uh, let's calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide uh, in the flask right uh, so we know that the concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume so the number of moles will be equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume uh, but, but what is the concentration uh, that is 0 0.167 and what is the volume the volume is uh, 300 centimeter cube but we have to convert that to decimeter cube by dividing by a uh, thousand right so now we just basically have 0 0.167 multiplied by 0 0.3 uh, which is equals to 0 0.0501 moles and that's how the number of moles we have in the flask uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, what's happening in 7.2.2 so in 7.2.2 we are told that um, ethanoic acid of volume 500 centimeter cube so let's have ch3 coh so that we can you know jot down that information uh, we have a volume of uh, 500 centimeter cube and unknown concentration x uh, is now added to this flask to give a solution of volume 800 and 800 centimeter cube uh, it is found that the ph of the mixture is 11.4 the pH of the mixture is 11.4 so the mixture is basic right and then um, 7.2.2 says let's calculate um, the concentration of the OH minus in the mixture right uh, there's quite a few ways you can do this but we know that pH plus POH is equal to 14 right so if we're looking for POH we just say that uh, 14 minus 11.4 which is equal to 2.6 right so now from poh we can find the concentration of oh minus right because we know that uh, poh is minus log of oh minus right so if you're looking for the concentration of oh minus uh, we're going to have 10 to the minus 2.6 right uh, so that is 10 to the power minus 2.6 uh, which is giving me uh, 0 0.002512 uh, moles per decimeter cube right um, yeah and that's exactly what we have there let's move to 7.2.3 so 7.2.3 is saying that let's find the initial concentration uh, x of the ethanoic acid right so yeah this one is a bit tricky right you have to be yeah thinking about a lot of things here vibrating at a certain frequency so it is found that the ph of the mixture is 11.4 right ph is 11.4 right we had an acid plus a base and the pH is now 11.4 right that can only happen if the acid is used up right then we can have this pH of 11.4 right so when solving this is the assumption that we are making uh, but then we don't really have to make that assumption let me show you something because we can say that um, 
you can calculate the consideration of h plus right by saying uh, 10 to the minus 11.4 right uh, but then if you do this you're gonna get 0. 0.0000000000 so we basically don't have any acid left right so that's the assumption we making we making the assumption that uh, the acid is used up right so to calculate the initial concentration of the acid we're gonna calculate uh, the initial number of moles of the base and the number of moles of the base after the reaction right so if we find the difference then we're gonna have the number of moles of uh, the acid, and then from the number of moles, we're gonna find the concentration using the volume, right? Yeah, uh, I know that's a lot, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, figure it out, right? So from 7.2.1, we have uh, the number of moles initially of uh, sodium hydroxide, right? So we can say that the number of moles of NaOH initially uh, is equal to so we just go into our answer in 7.2.1 0 0.0501 so we have 0 0.0501 moles right so now let's find the number of moles of naoh uh, after right after uh, the reaction so this is you know before and now we're looking for the number of moles after um, uh, the reaction so how can we possibly find the number of moles after the reaction we can use the concentration of oh minus right which we have from uh 7.2.2 so we're going to say that uh the number of moles of oh will be equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume right so what is the concentration the concentration is 0 0.002512 multiply by the volume but then this is the volume uh, of um, ethanoic acid plus the volume of sodium hydroxide right so that will be 800 divided by a thousand a thousand is us converting to uh, to the similar cube right so if you punch that in your calculator so you get number of moles which are 0 0.002 0 um, 0.01 right uh, moles so this is the number of moles after this is the number of moles before so we can find the number of moles of NaOH uh, that are used right so when I have um, uh 0 0.0501 minus 0 0.00201 right so 0 0.0501 uh, minus yeah that we're gonna get uh 0 0.048 uh moles right so now that we have the number of moles we can use the balancing coefficients right we can say that uh, the number of moles of naoh divided by the number of moles of ch3 cooh should be equal to one divided by one that is the balancing coefficients so the number of moles of ch3 cooh uh, is equal to 0 0.048 uh, moles right uh, but we want the concentration so the concentration will be the number of moles divided by the volume so we have 0 0.048 divided by a volume of um, 500 centimeter cube right so 500 uh, divided by 1000 right so if you punch that in your calculator uh, we will get 0 0.096 moles uh, per decimeter cube 